Hello there, my children. It is very sudden, but um, we are here, and there's a rune tech dragon. Haha. <laughs> it's not normal that I suddenly jump into things like this, but either way, a very old species of dragon, rune tech dragons, are nonetheless covered in odd patterns that resemble circuitry. Could the past have been more advanced than this train of thought? And it's an energy, earth, and wind dragon. Now, we've got this rune tech dragon to hatch, we have the data dragon to hatch, and then we are going to be getting that legendary lily gem dragon as well today. Because I've been hatching these over the last couple of days. Um, you know, the thing is with hatching all these dragons, I do also want to breed for the weekly. So I've been kind of careful about the dragons that I'm choosing to hatch at the moment. Because I don't want to fill up the hatchery slots. But I have to say, Runetech, very cool looking dragon. I do like some of these sort of like new age themey sort of dragons. Like he's just cool and he's got a really cool set of colours on him. This blue and the sort of aqua-y turquoise, absolutely love it. And here is Mr. Data Boy. There he goes. Oh my goodness, look how cute this boy is. He's like a little baby bird. I didn't realise that the Data Dragon was literally just a technological bird. That sounds like just the sort of thing that I would want. Either way, he's a cute little fire void and metal dragon. Maybe, if he was like one of your first epics, maybe you'd want to use him on a team, but he's mainly there for the collector points. So the Data Dragon is like a little walking, roaring database of information. Most of it, this trainer assumes, contain or concerns, I should say, the various fruits of the region and how tasty they may or may not be. Fair enough. Fair enough. That is a cute baby, though. Again, digitised bird. I love it. I don't like that the beak sort of gets smaller as he goes into his adult form, but anyway, there we go. Congrats, you have successfully finished the iridescent beauty. You have got the Lily Gem Dragon, which as you can see is a legendary plant and void dragon, which is an interesting typing. Um, although this dragon actually looks slightly different on PC compared to Android and iOS, because I believe it's got like some shiny stuff on parts of its body, which is... um. Kind of depressing. Why do I not get super cool shiny stuff? Huh? Just unfair. Just totally uncool and unfair. Not what I wanted at all, but yeah, look at this baby! Look at this baby! It's actually adorable. I don't even want to level up. I genuinely don't even want to. But the dragon collector point- oh, they're too, they're too tempting. DCP. I love me some DCP. That sounds like a very, very wrong um, abbreviation for something, but it's not lewd, I assure you. Either way, this is the adult form. He's suddenly become 500 times less cute and more weird. Is, is it... I don't know. It's like he has... It's almost like his cheeks are full of, like, acorns or something. I don't know how to describe it. Either way, strange dragon. Definitely preferred the baby, but, you know, I guess he can sit in the void habitats forever and we will never look at him ever again. So, um, apart from that, we have our Wasteland Dragon in a hatchery now and, uh, you know, we're going to keep trying to breed for Cockerel. We've also got our breeding going for the Orca Dragon in the other breeding den there. So, who knows, maybe I'll use the double egg relic at some point soon and then we can go for double orca eggs or you know double eggs for the cockerel because i do want this cockerel dragon soon because um why would i not why would i i just want to get this hero challenge event over and done with yes i could just buy it but that is the pussy way out and i'm not going to do that pussy cat way just for anyone that was curious there and also it was the babyfying festival i don't remember if it's still on either way i have chosen to babyfy nezha out of all of our possible options just because i think nezha is cute as a baby do i need any other explanation as to why um i don't think so look i do have a few other new dragons as well i don't know where i'm getting all these new dragons from but like i have the verdant dragon because i got super duper lucky so I went through the other day, I was opening up some clan packs and I was like, oh god, this luck is terrible at the beginning, it was god awful and then it was just pack 
after pack, after pack, after pack was just giving me pieces for the verdant drug. I'm like, what the heck, Gabe? You're, you're being too kind. This is weird. And then, boom, I just got a verdant, like, four pieces in a row or something. I was like, Jesus. I, it's taken, like, two years, nearly, to get the final four pieces for this dragon. And it literally just gave them to me. It was almost underwhelming. It's like when I got the plushy dragon and the other enchantment breedables on the first breeding attempt after trying to, you know, save up the materials for months. But either way, we've got the verdant dragon to hatch. We also have the leviathan because I never actually got it out of the arena packs, but I did get him the other day. Uh, who else do we have? Of course, we've also got Chrono Frig, we've got Lily Gem, we've got another Thor if I ever decide to hatch it. We've got a few new boys in here. We've got Anubis, we've got an Erlang Shen. Again, I've just never hatched them because they just take up a lot of space. But, you know, if we keep going and doing this arena stuff, I'm sure we'll get the... I think the only one that I don't have yet is the Griffin Dragon. We should have him soon. And Red Rib is the current promotion prize dragon, which I don't know if that's going to be feasible with people going to, like, millions of points every week. We'll see. We shall see. Either way, I just wanted to give a quick update, wait for today. Um, good luck if you're trying to go for the Bubble Dragon and any of the other stuff, Clan Quest, everything else. You know, I hope you got what you wanted out of the events, and I hope you get Cockerel soon so that you can get the Breeding Blitz and the Hero Challenge down skis. I really want the Splotch Dragon, so I'm, uh, I'm banking on me getting this cockerel at least soon enough to do the event, but there's only like a 10 minute wait between each of the battles in the Heroes Challenge, so keep that in mind anyway. But, anyway, I appreciate you being here. Have fun. Bye-bye.